All right, so I'm all surrounded by tape right here. I've got all the tapes I typically have in my vehicle, and it may look like a lot or it may not look like a lot, but we're gonna talk about each one of them, when I use them, and um, maybe a little bit about the cost and you know why you shouldn't have them in your vehicle. And I'm gonna just start off with the first tape, and that is a production tape. It's an everyday tape that you should have in your vehicle. It's your lower cost tape, but one that you're gonna be using the most of in most scenarios. And that is a product from Sure Tape. This is the orange tape. It's kind of interesting. We're so accustomed to seeing um, vanilla type colored tape, white vanilla type cover tape is production tapes. Sure Tape has come out with this orange color. It stands out really well. CP199, probably 90% of the production um, masking and taping you're gonna be doing is gonna be the one inch tape because that is even significantly less expensive than the inch and a half tape. I really discourage my guys to stay away from this except in um, certain types of scenarios when you're masking on um, areas that, you know, tape doesn't stick very well to, which would be like a wooden fence, um, the asphalt shingles on a wood uh, roof or a wood roof or um, a dusty surface. You just need more of the adhesive showing, you know, to um, get your tape to stick well. So the adhesive on this tape is the best adhesive for a production tape I've ever used. We're very accustomed to removing our tape at the end of the day. We usually don't leave it overnight. This is a three-day release tape. Production tape is always less expensive because the paper on the tape is not a premium paper like you would have on, say, like frog tape green. So the paper is less expensive. The paper does not splinter. I never, ever see this um, paper on this uh, on this tape splinter. So typically, um, production tapes are going to really cut costs on the paper. When you start to get it to splinter and you're trying to pull it off of a, like, um, something high that's masked around a ceiling or something you all you want it to just come off you know all at one time and not splinter it just has the right amount of tack the right quality paper and um, it's a three-day release tape production tape all right so now we're gonna get on with the frog tape green frog tape green is the next most commonly used tape I use and you know I'm a big uh, believer in this tape and I'm, I'll talk a little bit of why about why I do have a video uh, that you can look watch at the end of this video and that's using frog tape and caulking to get laser straight lines frog tape is a product it's um they're the only tape in the world that can do this they have a patent on it so if you take the tape out of frog tape and if you look at the surface of the tape even if you look um, at the tape right here, I can see like there's kind of like a powdery residue on this tape. This tape has this powder on just the outside of the tape. It's not on the surface of the adhesive. It's a polymer that actually swells up when water hits it. So if you were to take this tape, put a drop of water on the tape right here, you would see it swell up. And it's the same concept, the same technology that goes into diapers. This swells up doesn't allow the liquid to go underneath the tape. It happens that fast. It's what we use to create laser straight lines. And we use it a lot now. We buy it by the case and every vehicle has multiple cases of this product. We used to use it sparingly because it was expensive, but we realized real quick that the cost of the tape, even though it was expensive, the results we got you know, from the tape far exceeded the cost of the tape. But then um, taking a painter and having a painter be able to mask a line and, and paint over it and not get bleeding and stuff, they can mask a lot faster than they could cut in. Obviously, you know, watch my, my video about this subject because I talk about, look, we're not eliminating the need for guys cutting in and hand brushing stuff, but we're taking you know new members of the team, making them effective members of the team, making you money right away. So this has a premium paper, and then it has a release time significantly longer than a production tape. So a production tape, if you put it on the floor and you try to pull it up four days later, it's gonna splinter really bad. It's gonna cause you all kinds of issues. This tape is even less likely to splinter than this tape because it's a premium paper. The paper is even thinner, so when you caulk over it, it doesn't leave what we call a big dam. The adhesive is, um, I believe, is a 21-day release masking onto glass. If you mask onto glass, you don't even need to caulk over it. You're going to get laser straight lines, especially if you're brushing and rolling over it because that's what will force the paint underneath the tape. 
if you're spraying, you can get away with using a production tape on glass. And if you're spraying, because the paint just hits the tape, hits the surface, it's not being forced underneath the tape. So anytime we're on a rough surface, we're using frog tape if we need to use laser or get laser straight lines. So it comes in these cases. And if you ever wonder what these cases are for, they're to keep it dry and keep moisture off the tape and to protect the tape because it's a really expensive tape. If you throw the rolls into a bin or just throw them into your vehicle, um, the edges of it are gonna get banged up. It could get wet, could get moisture on it. And so Frog Tape Green packaged individually premium paper and there's been you know there's this, this pushback you know so many people tell me oh my gosh it's so expensive it's not worth the money believe me it's worth every penny it's worth the packaging but for those of you that are concerned about price the almighty dollar frog tape blue has tried to address that and they've um, stepped down in the quality of paper so this isn't uh, I'm nearly this isn't a premium paper when I'm messing around with it I think it's a little bit better than say um, the orange tape so it's not a premium paper but it's still a good quality paper it does not splinter I've messed around with it, tested it I've used it a lot I've used it with my caulking method um, and caulking the tape and it's packaged in four packs so it doesn't have this plastic container so they've cut the cost by eliminating that container because they just figure um, production painters or um, contractors are going to go through this tape you know a lot faster than say like a do-it-yourself painter you could walk on this and i put it on a floor tested it in my office had it on the floor for months and it pulled off months later so it is it's um frog tape blue i did the paper when you compare the paper of it there is a thickness difference between the blue and the green so using my method of putting you know clear caulking over the top of the tape um, painting it and then pulling it off it does leave a larger dam which I don't like so if I'm going to caulk my tape I'm not going to use the the frog tape blue I'm going to use the frog tape green a commercial timeout subscribe to our channel hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell right next to that subscribe button because if you subscribe and don't hit the notification bell it really doesn't do anything because you won't get notified next time we come out with one of these really cool videos talking about really cool products or teaching you how to paint the commercial's over let's get back to the video on to um painters mate poly hanging tape so you know, when it comes to making a spray booth inside of a house and you always have to create that booth by hanging um, and taping from the ceiling lines and we used to just take just rows and rows and rows of this nine by 400 plastic and tack it to the ceiling line and I'll tell you invariably it always comes down at some point in time and then we discovered this poly hanging tape right here and it's a double-sided tape and it absolutely just kind of revolutionized our um you know booth setup process when it comes to painting cabinets you know indoors in somebody's houses so you would stick this to say one side one surface put it on the back right here one side of your surface and it sticks right there we're going to run it around our ceiling whatever the perimeter of that booth is going to be then we're going to pull off the backing to the tape right here and that's going to expose another adhesive and one side of the adhesive it's interesting one side is stronger than the other side the, this side that sticks to your ceiling is not as strong as this side that tacks to your your plastic so we'll take nine by 400 plastic stick it to this drop it from the ceiling it hits the floor and we have a booth now some people are going to ask is this going to pull off the paint off your ceiling that's you know one of the issues with masking onto a ceiling occasionally it does not not very often it's rare than we would just touch up the ceiling right here but tax to the ceiling you just tack your your um your plastic to that it drops down and this stuff does not we've never had a booth ever fall down with poly hanging tape and then if a spray booth comes down while you're spraying all the the overspray dust that's floating in the air poof it just goes you know right into the area you don't want it to be and it's a disaster so 
if you do any type of masking um, for cabinets, you've got to try this. Um, Painters make poly hanging tape. This is um, another product right here. I believe um, Sure Tape makes um, the poly um, hanging tape. So if you haven't seen it, ask for it in your paint stores. I know some people, um, they, they haven't seen it in their paint stores, but your paint stores should get it. Now on to the doorbell and talking about T-Rex tape. There's gonna be times when we're masking on a roof and um, a wood roof, for instance, or an asphalt shingle roof, and this tape is just not sticking, or you know, there's a slight breeze outside, the roof is a little bit dusty, um, and this is starting to come up. That's when we'll break out our duct tape. Masking on a fence that goes up against a house, masking on that fence, the wood that's, um, it's been exposed and aged and old, you can scratch it and the fibers come off really easy. That's when we just break out and we start masking with um, duct tape or T-Rex tape. So this is a very, very strong tape right here. T-Rex tape, absolutely incredible. T-Rex Brute Force is a tape that is significantly, significantly stronger than, um, than just T-Rex. So the Brute Force, you literally can't even rip it by hand. It's impossible to rip. You have to have something to um, cut it with, like a knife, or a pair of scissors. Um, there you have it. We've got our production tape, CP199. Um, I use inch, inch and a half. When it comes to the frog tape, the only thing, here's inch and a half and one inch of frog tape green. I only stock in my vehicles um, the one inch of frog tape green. I don't mess around. This is significantly more expensive. We're only using um, the one inch. We do, when we're uh, masking floors and putting, when we go into a house and paint, we're typically running paper down on the floors. This is what's actually coming in contact with the floor or the paper overlapping. And we stock the blue an inch and a half. The poly hanging tape, I believe it only comes in this size. Here's the tapes I stock in my vehicle right here, typically right here. And so, and I actually separate them by bins. There's gonna be a, a bin of frog tape. There's gonna be a bin of our production tape, inch and a half, a bin of our production tape, one inch. And then um, our specialty tapes will be in another bin separated. That way it's all easy to find. So this video is over. If you guys have any questions or comments about tape, leave them in the comment section below. If you got a tape that I should add to my vehicle, let me know. I love to hear about new products. Maybe what I'm using isn't the right thing. Maybe what you're using is better. If you've enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Don't give me a thumbs down. I would appreciate a thumbs up. And um, you know, I gotta get going. I got a job to do. Out. We'll see you on our next video. No, um, not out yet.